deep inside the bowels of the Major League Baseball Writers Association members who are screwing up this year's Hall of Fame voting. This is Kurt Berglund with APA Hall of Fame King of the Hill baseball action. This is game five. The 1901 to 1920 ball club is taking on the Kings 1921 to 1940. It's Matthewson versus Hubble in a battle for the ages. Let's get to the starting lineups. Leading off for the 0120s in left field, it's Ty Cobb batting second. Second baseman, Nap Lajui. Batting third, center fielder, Tris Speaker. Batting fourth, shortstop, Honus Wagner. Batting fifth, first baseman, George Sisler. Batting sixth, right fielder, Sam Crawford. Batting seventh, third baseman, Frank Home Run Baker. And batting eighth, catcher, Ray Schalk. Batting ninth, and on the mound, right-hander Christy Matheson, an AC pitcher with an X and ZZ modifiers. Going for the old 120s. For the 2140s, leading off at shortstop, it's Archie Vaughn. Batting second at second base, Rogers Hornsby. Batting third in right field, Babe Ruth. Batting fourth at first base, Lou Gehrig. Batting fifth in center field, Joe DiMaggio. Batting sixth in left field, Al Simmons. Batting seventh and doing the catching, it's Bill Dickey. Batting eighth and playing third base, it's Pie Trainer. And batting ninth and on the mound, King Carl Hubble, an A pitcher with an XZ modifier. We are ready to go with game five of the King of the Hill between these two competitors. And I like both these teams a lot. Here we go. Hubble to Cobb. <clears throat> that is strike three swinging, and Hubble picks up his first strikeout, and we are underway. Ladjui. Hey, struck him out. That's strikeout number two for Hubble. Now it's speaker. Triss at the plate. Left field. Charging is Simmons. He's got it for the third out. It's a one, two, three, first inning. For King Carl Hubble, we go to the bottom of the first and we're scoreless. In this game five of the King of the Hill series, win 10 and you're in the World Series. Matheson will face Vaughn, Hornsby, and Ruth. And that's taken for a strike. Ball two. Two and one is the count. He lost him. It's ball four. Vaughn is aboard with the base on balls. Now it's Hornsby, one of the heroes of yesterday's game. This one is hit back to Matheson. He gloves it and throws to Sisler, and that will advance Vaughn to second. Babe Ruth coming up with one out now, and Matheson's got to make a pitch, or they're going to get ahead in this ball game. Ground ball, Lajui. He throws to Sisler, and there's two outs, and now it's Gehrig. Vaughn still at second. The pitch to Lou. Walked him. First and second now. Uncharacteristically wild for Maddie. DiMaggio comes to the plate. Two on, two outs. Grounded to second. That's Lajui who will flip to Wagner and that will retire the 40, the 2140s in the first. 
We go to the second. We're scoreless. It's Wagner, Sisler, and Crawford coming up for the 0120s. Hubble. Popped him up. That's Pie Trainer on the dirt. He's got it. One gone in the second. Sisler. Ground ball, gloved by Gehrig. He's going to flip to Hubble covering, and there's two down, and now it's Crawford. Little less power on this 0120 team. Lots of doubles and triples, but not a lot of dongs. Fly ball center field. This is DiMaggio. And six in a row for Hubble to start this game is an excellent start for King Carl. All right, we go to the bottom of the second. Maddie's back out, hoping he's over the nerves. Bottom of the second, Simmons, Dickey, and Trainer. Hey, struck him out. First strikeout for Maddie. One gone in the bottom of the second. Dickey. Ball two. Popped him up. Trainer, I'm sorry. Baker under it, and there's two gone, and now it's Pie Trainer. Coming up, two outs, nobody on. Maddie's pitch. Ground ball, Wagner. He scoops and throws to Sisler, and that'll retire the 0120s. I'm sorry, that'll retire the 2140s in the bottom of the second. Here we go with the third inning Hubble against Baker, Shock, and Matheson. Ground ball charged by Vaughn. He flips to Gehrig seven in a row to start this game for Hubble. Now it's Shock. The cracker. The pitch. Shock goes the other way with King Carl's offering, and he gets the first hit for the 0120s. He's on with a single. And now Matheson comes to the plate. Could be time to put a play on. See what they do with Matty. He can handle the bat a little bit. He squares to bunt. And he missed the second strike. Are they going to keep the bunt on? The pitch. They do keep the bunt on. He gets it down. Bounce to Drainer. He throws to Hornsby covering first. And that advances Shock to second. And there's two outs now for Cobb. With a man in scoring position. That's not Tommy Lee Jones. The pitch drilled. Gonna be over Simmons' head in left center field. It's gonna bounce and hit off the wall. That's gonna score Shock from second with the first run of the game. Cobb has himself a double. It's 1-0-0-1-20s. Lajwi up 0 for 1 on the day. The pitch to him from Hull. Ground ball hit to Trainer. He gloves it and throws to Gehrig, and that retires the side. But the 0-1-20s break out on top with a run, and it's 1-0 as we go to the bottom of the third. Top of the order for the 2140s, Vaughn, Hornsby, and Ruth. The pitch from Matty lifted in the air to right field. This is Crawford. I'm sorry, spoke too soon. That's Hubble. But Hubble did the same thing. Right field, Crawford, one down. Now it's Archie Vaughn. And this is a looper, center field, and speaker can't get there. It's a base hit, and Vaughn is aboard. One out, one on for Hornsby. 0 for 1 for Hornsby on the day. The pitch from Matheson. That's ball two. And this pitch gets away from Shock, and that's going to be a wild pitch to the screen as Vaughn moves up to second base. Hornsby still in there. Three balls, no strike count. The pitch hit to right, not deep. Crawford under it and will take it for out number two. It's Ruth now with Garrigan deck. 
Pitch to the bed. Uh oh. To right and deep. Crawford back to the wall. It's gone. And Ruth hits his second of the tournament. 2 1 lead for the 2140s. All right. Matheson dinged in the bottom of the third. Garrig comes up with two outs and nobody aboard. Ball two. The double Z is nice. Pitch to Lou, hit to left, not deep. Cobb coming on and he'll make the catch. So the 2140s respond to the solo run by the old 120s with two of their own in the bottom of the third. And after three, they have a 2-1 lead in game five of this tournament. The pitch drilled by speaker. This is deep. This is dice on the floor. This is <laughs> dice on the floor a second time. This is trouble. And it's in the right center field gap. Speaker's got himself a two-bagger and... It's Wagner now with nobody out and Speaker at second. Hubble in a jam. The pitch to Honus. This is trouble. Drilled and extra bases. It scoots past Simmons and Wagner has himself a double. Back to back doubles tie the game at two. Sisler coming to the plate. Still nobody out. Hubble in a jam. The pitch. Hey, struck him out. That's Carl's third of the game. And there's one out now. Crawford. This is grounded to Vaughn. Arky throws to Gehrig. And that will retire Crawford. But Wagner scoots over to third. So with two outs, he's 90 feet away for home run Baker. Hubble. In trouble. This is... Hit toward Vaughn. Off his glove. Moves, scoots into center field. That's going to be an E6, and it's going to score. Wagner from third. It's 3-2. 0-120s take the lead back. On the miscue by Vaughn. An unearned run. Shock at the plate with Baker at first. The pitch to Ray. Hit to right. Not deep. Babe Ruth going to take it. And that will retire the 0-1-20s. But they take a 3-2 lead in the, bottom, in the top of the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Be DiMaggio, Simmons, and Dickey against Matheson. These teams battling hard. Winner stays on top. Winner keeps playing. Loser sits out. Popped him up. Frank home run Baker will take it. And there's one gone. Now it's Simmons. 0 for 1. Hey, struck him out. That's Maddie's second on the day. Two gone in the bottom of the fourth. And now Dickey. Drilled. Hanger from Maddie, and this one is going to go to right center. A double for Dickey, and Trainer is up with Hubble on deck. Tempting to walk him to try and get out of the mess, but they're not going to. The pitch to Trainer from Matheson is hit in the air to center. Speaker moves into right center, and we'll take it. That completes four. O one twenties are leading three two in this back and forth struggle. Matheson leads off, then it's Cobb, then Lajoui in the top of the fifth. Pitch to Maddie. Ground ball Vaughn. He fields this one, throws to Garrig, and there's one gone. Cobb with one out. He's one for two. 
This is hit to center. DiMaggio charging and gets there for out number two. Now it's Lajui. Pitch to Knapp. Drill to right center. Gonna get down and split Ruth and DiMaggio. Knapp's got himself a double and Speaker comes up with a chance to drive in insurance. We're in the top of the fifth. It's 3-2-0-1-20s. Speaker is one for two. The pitch to Triss. Loop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ground ball third. Glove by trainer towards the line. Throws across to Garrigan. Gets Speaker by a step at first. We are halfway through this one. The 0120s lead 3 2. And it's Hubble. Vaughn and Hornsby do up in the bottom of the fifth. Here comes King Carl. Ground ball, Baker. He gloves it, throws to Sisler, and there's one out. Now it's, it's Vaughn. One for one with a walk, but a costly error. Ball two to Arkey. Looper, center field, here comes Speaker, it drops. Base hit, second hit for Vaughn. Now, Hornsby comes up with a chance to make trouble. See what they might do here. Matheson to the belt, the pitch to Hornsby, there goes Vaughn, he bounces this one to short. Wagner charging, gloves it. Throws to Sisler for the out. Vaughn moves up to second base. Two outs now for Ruth with a man in scoring position. They did not walk him in the third, and he hit a two-run bomb. Matheson going to face him again. The pitch home. Right field, Crawford under it, and will take it for out number three. We've played five. 3 2 0 Matheson... Gets into trouble. Matheson gets out of just enough trouble to preserve his one-run advantage at this point. Top of the sixth, Wagner, Sisler, and Crawford coming up for the 0-120s. They want insurance off of King Carl. Drilled by Wagner. This is deep. And it is off the wall in left center. Gets by DiMaggio. Look at Wagner run. He's around second. He takes third on a standing triple to lead off the sixth inning. That's going to get action going in the bullpen for the 2140s. Dazzy Vance starting to throw in the bullpen. And Sisler is up. George is 0 for 2. The infield will move in. They don't want to give up any insurance. They don't have to. The pitch. Hit to right. Ruth getting under it. Ruth getting under it. Wagner tagging. Ruth makes the catch. The throw home to Dickey. The slide by Wagner. He is out of there. Ruth throws out Wagner at home plate. It's a soul crushing. Rally killing double play as the old 120s run into an out at home plate with one man out. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. Cloud of dust from Wagner slide. It's Crawford 0 for 2 and nobody on. Hubble breathing a little bit easier now. There's two outs in the top of the sixth. The pitch is... Ball four, walks Crawford. Carl might be tiring. Baker comes up. Two outs, man at first. Ball two. Ground ball, Garrig. He gloves it. Flips to Hubble, and that will retire the, the 0-1-20s in the sixth. They blow a now golden opportunity. Man on third. Nobody out, and they do not score.
Bottom of the sixth. Garrick, DiMaggio, and Simmons coming on for the 2140s. Ball two. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a bounce to Wagner. Honus boots it. It's under his glove, and Garrick makes first base on the air. DiMaggio comes up. Will they ask Jolton Joe to bunt? Mathis into the belt. The pitch. He's not bunting. This is strike three called. Ooh, Maryland doesn't like that one. Third strikeout. Joe's going to make Maryland wash some extra dishes just for that strikeout. And Simmons comes up 0 for 2 in this game. Garrig still at first. The pitch to Al. Bouncing ball. To Wagner, he goes to Lajui for one. The relay to Sisler in time for a soul-crushing, rally-killing double play, ending the sixth inning. We got three innings to go. It's 0-1-20s, three. 21-40s, two. Every game is tight in the king of the hill. Shock, Matheson, and Cobb are up this inning. Pitch to Ray. This is bounce to Vaughn. Arky gloves it. Throws to Gehrig. There's one man out. Now it's Matheson. Pitch to Matty. Hey, struck him out. That's strikeout number four for King Carl. And with two outs and nobody on, it's Cobb coming to the plate. Pitch to Ty. Loop to center. Here comes DiMaggio on the run, on the run. He's got it for out number three, and it's time to stretch him out. Going to the bottom of the seventh, 3 2 0 20s as they are leading. A little bit of a surprise, beating King Carl. Dickey, Trainer, and Hubble do in the bottom of the seventh, the pitch. And that's taken for a ball. Dickey ahead in the count, the pitch. Drill. Dickey. It's a hanger from Matheson. And this one's going to get over the head of Ty Cobb and gonna land for a double as Dickey is on second now with nobody out and trainer at the plate. 0 for 2 for Pi. And, Math and Hubble is on deck. Matheson to the belt. The pitch home, drilled by Trainer. Drops in front of Crawford. Here comes Dickey around third. The throw home from Crawford is cut off by Sisler, and we are tied at three on a clutch single by Pie Trainer. And that may have just kept King Carl Hubble in the game. Trainer aboard at first base. Hobble at the plate. Mathis into the belt. The pitch. He's squaring to bunt. Pops it up. Gloved by Shock. Fires down to Sisler. And they double off Trainer. It's a soul crushing, rally killing, bunted double play. And that may have saved Maddie in this game. Wow. Vaughn coming to the plate. He's been on base three times. There, are, there is two outs and nobody aboard right now for him. And Matheson pitching for his life. 3-3 three, three ball game in the bottom of the seventh. Popped it up. Frank Baker on the infield grass will take it. They score one on two hits, but they blow a chance for more. We have played seven and we're tied at three. The 0120s send Lajui, Speaker, and Wagner to the plate in the top of the eighth inning. We're playing a two inning ball game now. Hubble at the plate, Hubble on the mound. He has allowed three runs, but only two of them earned. The pitch to Lajui. Drilled to right center. Gonna get down past Ruth. Ladry with another double.
He's in scoring position with nobody out for speaker. Vance gets up again to start throwing. Speaker's one for three. Popped it up. That wouldn't be a home run in a phone booth. Rogers Hornsby under it, and he will take it for out number two, number one. Now it's Wagner. Wagner's two for three. Pitch to Honus. Looper left field. Gonna drop in front of Simmons. Lajui around third. They are going to wave him. The throw home to Dickey is in time. They got him. A 7-2 to two put out at home when Lajui tries to score from second on Wagner's single. Who the second time now that the old 120s have been shot down at the plate with one man out. Wagner at first base. Now it's Sisler coming up. Hobble to the belt. The pitch to Sisler. There goes Wagner. And the throwdown is not in time. Wagner steals second base. Vaughn is high with the tag. Sisler takes a ball. The pitch to George is grounded to third. Gloved by Trainer. He throws to Garrigan. That retires the side. The old 120s have another chance, but do not capitalize. We go to the bottom of the eighth. It's 3-3. Three, three. Matheson back out to face Hornsby, Ruth, and Gehrig. Ooh. When you gotta keep them shut out, this is a tough threesome. Hornsby over three. The pitch to Rogers is drilled to left and deep. This is going to drive Cobb to the wall, and it's gone. Hornsby with his second home run of the tournament. It's 4-3, 21-40s. Ooh, Babe Ruth coming up. Now the old 120s have to get the bullpen going. Let's see what they got here. Ooh. It's going to be Grover Cleveland Alexander warming up. Ruth at the plate. He went deep in the third. The pitch. That's foul. Foul ball. This one, strike three, called, and Ruth does not like the call. That's the fourth strikeout for Maddie, and now it's Gehrig. Oh, for two with a walk for the Iron Horse. Ground ball, Sisler gloves it, flips to Maddie, two gone, and now to Maggio. Oh, for three. Ground ball taken by Wagner. He throws to Sisler, and that retires the 2140s, but they score a run on a Hornsby Dong. It's 4 3 as we go to the ninth. 0120s got to score a run, or this thing is over for them until their next time around. 2140s looking to close it. It's Crawford, Baker, and Shock. Crawford 0 for 2, the pitch. Oh, oh, oh. hey, strikes out on a screwball from King Carl. That's five with one gone now in the ninth. Baker, Hubble's pitch. Ground ball third, that's Trainer. He throws to Garrig. There's two gone, and now Shock. They're going to hit for him. They are going to hit for him. Let's see who they come up with. They would love somebody to be able to drive the ball, but maybe that's not in the cards. No pun intended. They're going to go with Roush, Eddie Roush. Not a platoon advantage situation, but 
They got a feeling. Roush up there. Matheson on deck, but he will not bat if it gets to him. The pitch. Hey, struck him out. That's the six for Hubble. And he gets the outs when he needs them. It's a 4-3 win for the 2140s. Let's give you the totals for the 2140s, the victors in this one. Four runs on seven hits, and they committed uh, no errors. For the vanquished, 0-120s, three runs. On eight hits, they committed. No, I'm wrong. The 2140s did commit an error. The 0120s committed an error. They both committed one error. So four, seven, and one for the 2140s. Three, eight, and one for the 0120s. The losing, the winning pitcher Hubble. The losing pitcher Matheson. Hubble is one and zero. Matheson, zero and one. And the 2140s, with their second win of the tournament, advance now and will play the Negro Leaguers in the next game of the tournament. The pitcher for the 2140s will be Dizzy Dean, famous barnstorming opponent of Satchel Page, who will be on the mound for the Negro Leaguers. Don't miss that game thank you so much for joining me please subscribe if you haven't for more king of the hill action my name's kurt berglund we got to stick together people hope you have a good day so long everybody